Welcome to the multiplication course. My name is Steve Whiteborny, and this is the first number concept map. In the last video, you learned how to create a blank number concept map, like this. In this video, we'll complete the first number concept map, and at the end of the video, your paper will look like this. Before we begin, I'd like you to know that you'll hear my voice throughout this entire video. However, when you see the rest of the number concept map videos in this course, those videos will be silent, so I'll take a moment to explain that. In the rest of the number concept map videos, you will see four important notes. The first one reads, this video is silent. The next note reads, you will need a pencil and a piece of paper. Then, pause the video to complete each concept, and there is another reminder. Pause the video whenever you want more time. Pausing the video when you need more time is always a good idea. After the notes, you'll see a blank number concept map appear on the screen. This will be your signal to create a blank number concept map before you begin. Then, in those silent videos, the concepts will appear on the screen, one idea at a time, but much more slowly than this, so you will have much more time to copy them onto your own paper, onto your blank number concept map. And then, at the end of the video, you will have a complete number concept map. But in this first video, we'll work through each of these, one at a time, so we can understand more about what each part of the map means. So I'll erase these, and then we will begin with the first part. For this activity, you'll need a pencil and a blank number concept map. Pause the video until you have those supplies ready. Begin by writing 2 times 3 is equal to 6, and also write 3 times 2 is equal to 6. In this first number concept map, we'll explore the relationship between 2, 3, and 6. Now, let's move to the first space. In the first space, draw a triangle, and inside the triangle, write the numbers 2, 3, and 6. Now let's move to the next space. In the next space, write 2 times 3 is equal to 6, 3 times 2 is equal to 6, 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3, and 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. You can see how these ideas are connected to the triangle. Now let's move to the next space. In the next space, we'll draw intersecting lines. Draw two lines, one, two. Then draw three intersecting lines, one, two, three. Finally, draw a small circle in every place where the lines intersect, one, two, three, four, five, six. Notice that we can see two groups of three in the circles. Here is one group of three, two groups of three. And at the same time, we can also see three groups of two. Here is one group of two, two groups of two, three groups of two. Let's move to the next space. In the next space, write six is three times greater than two. And also write six is two times greater than three. These ideas of how much greater the product is than the factor can also be seen in some of the other spaces if you look closely. Let's move to the next space. In the next space, watch carefully how I write the equations. Write 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. And also write 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. You may have noticed that there are other ways to read these equations such as 6 thirds is equal to 2, and 6 halves is equal to 3. All of those ideas are connected. Let's move to the next space. In the next space, we'll write the factors of 6. Begin by writing 6 and drawing a line. Then write 1 times 6. And also write 2 times 3. The factors are very important because we use them in many strategies, sometimes without even realizing it. Let's move to the next space. In the next space, draw two small circles and connect them so that they show one group of two. Draw another set and connect them so that they show two groups of two. And draw a third set and connect them so that they show three groups of two. We can see that three groups of two is equal to six. Now, don't change your paper, don't erase, but notice that there is another way that we could have marked this. 
Instead of showing three groups of two, we could have shown two groups of three because that is also equal to six. Let's move to the last space. In the last space, we are going to draw a very small table. Begin by drawing a large square and then breaking it apart into smaller squares with two lines like this. One, two. Next, mark the multiplication symbol. Then write the factors two and three here. Two, three. And also write the factors two and three here. Two, three. Now we'll write the product of the factors inside the table. You can see that this space is where we will write the product of two and two which is four, so we write the number four. In this space, we'll write the product of three and two, which we know is six. In this space, write the product of two and three, which we know is six. And finally, in this space, write the product of three times three. Three times three is equal to nine. So in this space, write the number nine. And that completes the first number concept map. Now that you know how to complete the maps, remember that the rest of the number concept map videos in this course will be silent. Great job on completing the first one. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Whiteborny, and this is the first number concept map.